this is not a spring chicken as all of you are getting ready for Easter. Do you, are, are you getting kind of restless for the Easter season coming on? Well, I even came out in my, we call this my Easter Sunday best, right? <laughs> no, not exactly Easter Sunday best, but it's reminded me of the Easter colors. But meanwhile, President Obama and the White House are busy making, what? They're making laws at the White House and interpretate Interpreting laws? Yeah. Wait, what? what? They're what? They have ruled that the that the courts have no uh, legal right to rule anything unconstitutional. Now, w w w wait a minute. Isn't that what courts are for? Yeah. Yeah. So is, isn't that kind of fun? Well, which direction was it? Is this like a wag the tail type thing? Kind of makes you wonder sometimes about news and what people are thinking, doesn't it? Or what people? Oh. Are we actually getting the real news? Meanwhile, we're going to bring all Kim all comments on the headlines of today. Tennessee governor probably will sign an evolution bill. Yeah, basically what happens is, it's one of the reasons why the Democratic Party is backpedaling on Obama's uh, his statement that the court has no legal right to overturn anything that a Congress passes as unconstitutional because they're not an elected official. Because Tennessee had just put the monkey law back in, mm -hmm. they lost. They've lost in the court every single time, saying that uh, now what they've done is they said that well we're not telling they have to teach evolution. We just want to be able to allow all the people to understand that there is another side to the issue, and that many people do not believe that we have been on this planet for more than ten thousand years, and they should have the right to be protected from the United States government from being um, clamped down on and having to teach evolution as is in a textbook. So that's uh, so what happened is is that they they sort of went what happens is is that the President of the United States cannot speak off a teleprompter. The guy's got the brain of a of a cassava melon. Mm. I mean he just sits there and whatever pops into his head, the guy was supposed to be a scholar, a teacher, an expert on the Constitution and never heard uh, here's the question. Mr. President, have you ever heard of Marbury versus Madison? And he said, what? Mm -hmm. It's the case that set the president for a court to handle constitutional matters. And he goes, what? He had mm -hmm. no clue. I don't, he's never read the Constitution. All he did was... But isn't he a constitutional attorney? Yeah, but that doesn't mean he ever taught the Constitution. He also has said you know, that the Constitution was written by a bunch of white guys and Whigs. Mm -hmm. He doesn't believe, you know, since he doesn't believe it, he's probably never read it and just simply teaches his version of what the Constitution should be, which is basically not legal either. So. Mm -hmm. And flying car gets closer to reality with test flight. Okay, I'm going to hate to tell you people something, but Bob Cummings, the actor, had a flying car on his television series in the early 1960s. I think it helped, you know, so isn't that amazing? A flying car 50 years ago, mm -hmm. uh, and it was a flying car, folks. I mean, it was, you know, it was a souped up Volkswagen, I think, that they made into an airplane. But they've always had flying cars since they were able to push a car off a cliff with wings and stuff. So, but they, they're basically now trying to make it into something that it's not. And First Lady and Google launched the White House virtual tours. I know. Well, this way, she doesn't have to be bothered with those little people that come by and want to meet her because they now get to meet her online. Are you serious? Yeah, it's, all, a, it, it's all another, you must separate these people from the people because they're above all of them. Oh my God. Now they are above all of them with virtual tours. Uh, and Trayvon Martin Shooter would surrender if charged, lawyer says. Well, the person, everything the guy has said so far is being proved to be the truth. The problem is you don't charge a person with killing somebody if everything he did was according to the law as it is written. And here's the thing by, okay, if Al Sharpton and these other people don't like the law, according to Oliver Wendell, Oliver Wendell Holmes, change the law, don't break the law. They're already convicted of something that isn't illegal. Mm -hmm. You can't do it, and you can't retroactively do it either. I mean, if they arrest the guy knowing that the evidence that was presented to everybody to begin with was manufactured, also, they said you cannot bring him to trial now under any circumstances because the NBC News and other news media is basically so cluttered up the system with, with a lot of BS. NBC got caught. NBC apologized. They said it shouldn't have happened. Did they fire the people in charge? No. 
and they won't fire it because the problem is we we know we're only apologizing because the people at Comcast are conservative Republicans and they're going to fire ours. And round the world racers rescued after wave smashes sailboat. I know. I mean, I wouldn't. I can sail. But I would not go sailing around the world because there's no. Um, there's no life support program. I mean, I would go from here to Santa Catalina. I want to sail from here to the... Well, even if you go from here to Santa Catalina, it sure seems like you're a long way away from everything. Well, I mean, I want to sail from here to uh, Hawaii. And then when I got there with uh, Cynthia, they said, well, how do we get back? And they, because the winds don't really go that direction. And I said, well, what we did was we put the thing on a cargo boat and flew back. So. Well, you know, because when you're out in the ocean at the sea, you really are at sea. There's nobody around There's you. Nobody. I mean, so you got. We didn't have cell phones. All we had was radios in those days, and cell phones. Well, cell phones aren't going to work on the ship any on the boat anyway. No, but if you get to where there's a satellite going overhead, you, oh, have, they but do you have, might get lucky. They do have a system that you can do the conversations, but the problem comes is that by the time anybody can get to you, you're long gone. Mm -hmm. And will Syria stick to its peace promise? No, because you, you, it, the. If you're winning, you set the rules, and he has won because um, uh, the Chinese and the, and the Russians basically need to port to Damascus to ship their weapons into uh, the uh, Middle East. So, an Australian couple has one million dollar hospital book bill after baby born. Well, okay, like most people by now know that I was a shoebox baby when I was born. Can you imagine what the bill was oh, when I was about this big? You know, my, my, my grandmother was, you know, she basically did most of the medical taking care of me. But it's still, I mean, you wouldn't even want to think of what it must have cost when I was born for yeah. somebody my small. They didn't have an incubator back then. Basically, I remember my grandmother put me in a chicken incubator to keep me warm, so. Ooh, another passenger attacks crew on North Carolina to Florida flight. Okay, this happens. Okay. People are becoming, uh, the airlines are stressing people out unbelievably nowadays. First they make them wait in line, they charge them. The airlines are making money off of all the extras they're charging people. You can't get blankets, pillows anymore, they charge you for drinking water. Oh, do they? So they're going to, uh, one of the people, they actually some of the airlines are charging people a fee to go to the toilets during the airport. What? The flight. Yeah. You have to pay an upfront fee to use the toilets while you're in flight. Oh, that's atrocious. Yep. And JetBlue CEO says pilots melt down, started medical. Well, yeah, because it generally is. What happens is, is that um, uh, there comes a time when most pilots basically go over the edge. They generally don't do it when they're flying, but this was simply too many hours flying, um, and it does get to you because it's got it's the most boring thing. I mean, I've been on. Flights that were 24 hours in length, you know, and being refueled while you're flying it is boring. You go to, you know, what do you do? You can't play games, you can't do this, you can't do anything, so you sit there and do nothing. And Arlen Spector compares Romney to pornographic movie queen. Well, you know, because Romney's always changing positions. I love that. Oh, is that what? <laughs> yeah, I love that. And lawmaker chastised for wearing hoodie in the house. Oh yeah, he used to be a member of the Black Panthers, Bobby Seale. Well, they threw him out for it. I mean, the Democrats would Are not. Are you serious? Put out. Okay, what happens is, is that virtually everybody but the black community has backed away from the Trevon Martin thing because the instant they found out that that little 14-year-old kid was actually the pictures they're showing was of a 13, 14-year-old. That was atrocious. And the kid is like this. He's about a foot taller than the other guy. The other guy does have a broken nose and, and bruises and stuff, which they tend to do uh, at removing the video for people to see. And NBC News says it regrets editing of Trayvon shooting call. No, like I, I mean, said, come on! The only thing they regret is that they, they got, got caught. caught. <laughs> That's the only thing they regret. And video Dallas Twisters toss tractor trailers into air. I you know that I've, I've seen. I've seen. I've seen the things at work, and I, it's really neat to see the stuff going flying through the air. And you know, and they said, "Well, you know, why you're not supposed to be out there?" But you know, you can go out there, you snap pictures of this stuff. I mean, I, I've seen it happen where the thing goes flying over the top of you, like it's a, you know, like it's a kite. It's fun. Uh, you don't think it's going to get killed. First person, 19 stories in the sky during Dallas tornado. Oh yeah, I don't think I want to be 19 stories up in the air photographing it because the wind is blow out on places. They what happens? They come by, the wind is go, and back in. 
and gay students use Ohio School District over t-shirt. He won't win that one because the school basically can determine how you can and cannot dress when you go to the school. It's basically read the fine print. Mm. Sound veggies improve breast cancer survival study. Yeah. Um, uh, rice, for instance, it cleans out the systems because that's what we use on the Montavious who's got a, an inherited kidney problem. We're sort of grinding her system clear with the rice. Mm -hmm. I know, we're crossing our fingers on yeah. that one. Um, why Ford has been succeeding without a 2008 bailout? Um, because they are not being told by the federal government how they have to do, do business and that is a, a big thing. And Trump says trans transgender hopeful can enter the pageant. I know. Basically, it's called political correctness, and this one will more than likely win. They'll probably win, too, yeah. right? Yeah. And a Monty bubbleism from the Mark Twain of the animal kingdom. Um, uh, okay. Just because you've done, you, you screwed up something doesn't mean you should give up. 